Hi, it's Peter Nixon at the Potential Dialogue Studio. We're uh, now into our list of tactics that relate to the nice people, the people, people that come to the negotiation, the more relational types. Of course, everyone is nice, but some are more motivated by results, some more motivated by the details and the rationale. Now we're talking about the people, people, those who are really more motivated by the relationships. And there are important tactics that can be used when you're negotiating with the blue relationship oriented negotiator. And if you yourself are a blue relationship oriented negotiator, you may see yourself using some of these tactics more often yourself. So this one today is to sleep on contentious issues before you press send. Uh, let's face it, we've all sent messages, click uh, and regretted immediately after sending. Well, it's pretty normal to compose a message and think, yeah, this is what's needed at this stage in the negotiation. But if you sleep on it and come back to it again the next day, very often you're going to change the wording and very often you're going to make it more effective. You may change the wording to be more influential for the person you're sending it to. You may find yourself removing some of the conflictual words which uh, you may have written in your emotional response the day before, uh, but, or, or maybe things have changed overnight and uh, what response was appropriate yesterday is no longer appropriate today. All of these things will mean that your uh, argument in your negotiation, your position, your statement, your message to the other side will be uh, better composed and more effective. So good reason to sleep on it and send it in the morning after check-in. There are some softwares now that uh, force you to check those things, just like, for example, if you talk about an attachment and you forget to attach the attachment, it will prompt you to, to say, do you really wanna send it? What we need is the AI to read your message and say, whoa, that's a little harsh. Do you really wanna send this? If you can uh, sleep on it, you will win. If you don't uh, have that experience or training, or uh, some people don't do it because they feel the deadline forces them to send a quick response, they're not in control of the process of time, then uh, they might press send sooner than they should. But in many circumstances, no response is better than a bad response. So take the time and think things through you'll find a much better outcome. This has been Peter Nixon for A Dialogue Minute.